So today I have a very interesting topic, and it's not really interesting in the sense that it's like, wow, this is going to blow your mind. But it's interesting in the sense that the technology behind it is so meaningful to moving forward with storage. So today I have with me the first advanced format drive from Western Digital. This is the WD Ears. Okay, it's not really called the Ears, but this is a one terabyte green drive, and you can tell all of the advanced format drives by the EARS or Ears at the end of the part number. So you can see here I've done a search on the NCIX.com website for digital ears, which I thought was just kind of funny because it brings up all of the Western Digital Caviar Green advanced format hard drives. Now, what does advanced format mean? Basically, it's a way for your computer to eventually store far more data than it is capable of today, but there's a little bit more to it than that. So now let's get into a little bit more of the technical aspects of this. First of all, let me start out by saying hard drives make errors all the time all the time, but the hard drive manufacturers protect us from these errors that occur on a very micro level by putting in what's called ECC. So basically what they're doing is they're taking every portion of the drive that you write some data to and they're tacking on a little bit extra that includes information about what's supposed to be there. That prevents the drive from making a mistake that it can't recover from. What advanced format does is it increases that smallest addressable space called a sector to eight times the traditional size. So we used to use 512 byte sectors and now we're using four kilobyte sectors. What does this mean? It means that instead of having a little bit of the disk used up for ECC on each little tiny sector, now we're gonna use a slightly larger space for ECC, but it's gonna cover eight times more data. That means that we're wasting less disk space on just correcting errors and we're able to use more of our disk space as platters get more and more dense, meaning more storage for you, and we can use more of that to actually store our data. So why do you care about this? The answer is because it can dramatically affect performance on Windows XP if you don't properly prepare an advanced format drive before using it. Now, you can take your four kilobyte sector and you can actually virtually turn it into eight 512 byte sectors. But what that means is that if you actually have your, your a slight offset between your four kilobyte sector and where the, the virtual ones start, performance of the drive can go down dramatically. So Western Digital includes instructions actually right on the package for the drive for how to properly prepare it depending on how you're using it. So for Windows XP, if you're using multiple partitions, so if you have like a C and a D partition on the same drive, or if you're using a ghosting or cloning software to move from an old hard drive to a new advanced format drive, you will need to use the WD Align software available for download on the Western Digital website. You should check it out here. And if you're using it as a single partition drive under Windows XP, you can actually trick the firmware into, into realigning one, one off Okay, by setting jumpers seven and eight on the back of the drive before you format it. Now for Windows Vista, Windows 7, OS X, any of the other relevant operating systems today, you don't even have to worry about this. They're already aware of this and they will compensate themselves to make sure that your drive is properly aligned. The problem is just that Windows XP is about eight years old at this point. So this kind of a technology wasn't even being thought about at this time. Thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips. And if you're buying an ears drive, don't forget, align it and it will perform just like it should.